This hair makes me feel like a sexy mama seat the like what's up? What's up, Poppy? As soon as you do your hair, you just feel like a bad bitch. I got my skins dressed on, my hair is done. Somebody take like me on a date. Welcome or welcome back to the channel, which is Tara Brianne. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. Turn on your push notifications and make sure you're always on my channels on Sundays and Wednesdays because that's when I drop. So I know you want the ins and outs and all the tea on how to get this style right here. I showed you guys all the products you need and I showed you step by step in terms of the tutorial. So if you want to see, keep on watching and don't be a hater, babe. Like the video. Okay, and if you're not subscribed, just like, no. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, okay? Okay, boom. So doing this style is super easy. The only thing that you have to pay attention to are the sections. So that's what I'm about to walk you guys through right now. This is our starting point. This is what my hair looks like. I just took it out of that pony and I promised myself that I would not wear ponytails to sleep anymore because they break my hair off. So y'all know, y'all saw I'm doing a middle part. So that's what I'm doing right now. In terms of my pop smoke braids, I always use my ear as a guide when parting. So I just go above my ear and go straight down to create my first section. I'm gonna go ahead and braid this out of the way so it can just stay out of my face and not mess me up. And what y'all saw me spraying in my hair earlier was some water because it's easiest for me to detangle my hair when it's damp slash wet. So y'all gonna see me in this video chop all my ends off. Like I'm so serious when it comes to taking care of my hair this year. I don't have no problem with growth. I have a problem with length retention and it bothers me. So yeah, what y'all just saw me do, what I did to one side, I did to the other. And now this is a very important part that people probably won't forget. You need to section out some leave out, babe. Okay, we're going to be installing a half a wig, a headband wig, whatever you want to call it. You got to have some hair to leave out, to blend, to cover the back of the wig. And do y'all see the curls? Let's get into it. Okay, the video that I dropped before this, I did a curl revamp video. Y'all saw how flourishing my curls are. Don't play with me. Stay with me, okay? Make sure you watch that video in your spare time because I really got my curls together. But like I said earlier, I'm going to braid this up so it can stay out of my way. Boom, cut them ends off because they're ugly. I hate when my hair thins out at the end. It's just, ugh, I could throw up. So anyway, this is what you should have. Two pop smokes in the front two mini braids in the middle make sure that you section out enough hair for like your hair type as y'all like got thick hair so i didn't need that much feel me but we're not done yet okay y'all probably thought i'm about to do my braid down right now no you need an anchor braid okay this is going to be the braid that the wig holds on to okay so this is the most difficult part because you're gonna have to braid your hair from side to side well you don't have to actually you could have did the same exact no you do yeah i'm lying <laughs> you gotta braise your hair from one side to the other because the clip of the wig be in the middle feel me so like that's the that should be the thickest point of your braid that should be the thickest point of your anchor braid because the comb attachments on the wig are going to have to slide underneath that braid Okay, because you don't want your wig to slide off when you're walking down the street, baby. That's not cute. So, just take your time, okay? If you can, if you don't know how to braid, please get somebody to do this part for you. Like, that's all I got to say. Because, yeah, you see how it's thick and it's going straight across? That's what you need. That's what that, you see how it wasn't going away? Yeah. <laughs> I played too much, but that's exactly what you need. I was going to say, like, maybe you can get away with doing, like, a really tight flat twist if you don't know how to braid. But at this point, if you're a grown-ass woman and you still don't know how to braid, you're the problem. I'm sorry. You're the problem. Somebody had to tell you. Anyways, now I'm doing my braid down in the back, and I'm just doing some four jumbo braids. And I'm going to oil my scalp because my hair loves moisture, okay? 
And I'm probably going to have this style in for a good amount of time. Because like I said, this is one of my favorite styles ever. So the rest of this video, now that we got the portions and the sectionings out, um, is really easy and self-explanatory. I'm going to show y'all my wig. I believe it's from Unice. It's real old. I had to shampoo it and let it sit overnight and then condition it because it looked terrible. But this used to be a hairband wig and I just cut the wig. I mean, I just cut the hairband off and I put some layers in it. These are the products that you're going to need. Make sure you shop my Amazon storefront that has every single thing that you are going to need from the tools like the combs, the clips, to the shining jam, to the hair, the braiding hair that I use. I have everything on there. Okay, and your girl gets a little commission, so shop with me. Other than that, I'm about to, you know, fix my middle part up even more. And then I'm just going to get the braiding. Um, this is not a braiding tutorial. If you don't know how to braid, like I said, get it together, boo, get it together. But yeah, um, all I like to do is use shining jam for my parts. And for these braids, since they're thick, I like to use the um, edge booster, edge control on the front of my hair. So it really like grips up them tiny hairs that I have in the front. And then I just braid regularly. Um, let's see. If I have any tips on my girlies who are beginners, just take your time. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Make sure you pull out your edges and your baby hairs before you start to braid. And I always like to part a little section in the beginning before I do my braid. And when you're doing your initial like plait before you do your conro, plait down multiple times. That's what I would say. That helps me, you know, do the braid. But anyways, I'm rambling now. So I'm just going to let y'all watch the rest of the video. Please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and then make sure y'all follow me on Instagram as well because I be asking y'all on my stories like what styles I should do, what styles y'all want to learn so I can film them. But yeah, go ahead and continue watching.
Okay y'all, so I know I did not talk this entire video. It's because they are doing construction in my building and it's been super loud, but this is one of my favorite go-to protective styles. I usually do this in the summertime, but it's so important to take care of your natural hair during like the fall and winter time too. I know a lot of the girlies are doing the silk presses, but baby, I need my hair to be braided up. Y'all still my ends. I'm trying to clip off as much damage as possible and really take care of my natural hair regardless of the season. So yeah, if you want to limit the damage as well, but you still want to bomb, feel me and i kind of missed curly hair like i don't know specific hairstyles are not for specific seasons like please get out of it but yeah you can't tell me this not fire this is so cute if you know how to braid this is super easy to do and it takes like no time at all and a lot of the girlies don't know how to use half wigs or um hairband wigs if you like cut the hairband part off but yeah this is the back because I know a lot of people be wanting to see the back and stuff. Um, it's cute. It's flat. The hair is really, really thick and voluptuous. I love the curls. Um, it's real easy to sleep in too because I be popping this thing on and off. Like, yeah, I love me a good little cute quick clip on wig but yep all of the products that were used in today's video can be found in either the natural hair care essentials um little list on my amazon storefront or it will be in like the braiding slash protective style list on my amazon storefront regardless make sure you go there check out my list and my amazon storefront in general everything i talk about in terms of products that i film videos on is always on my amazon storefront and you know your girl will get a little commission if you shop so yeah thank y'all so much for watching today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye mamas